Now at 6, it is all systems go, and it's something we have not seen in quite a while. Two American astronauts are scheduled to lift off from Kennedy Space Center this Wednesday. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman has a preview. Nine years ago this July, American astronauts last left planet Earth from American soil. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff. The final mission of the space shuttle era carried a special payload, a small American flag. The crew is intending to uh, leave that flag on board the International Space Station. It's been a sentimental fixture floating above Earth ever since. So it was a good way to just say, hey, the next time somebody flies something from the United States, this flag is going to be up here waiting for them. But no one knew how and when. Astronaut Doug Hurley piloted that last shuttle flight. Did you think then that the person who might bring that flag home could be you? <laughs> No, absolutely not. I mean, I didn't think I was going to fly again necessarily, let alone be potentially the guy that goes up and gets it. Doug Hurley. But it looks like he'll get that chance after all. On Wednesday, Hurley and astronaut Bob Behnken will make history when they blast off from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. What? They'll climb aboard a SpaceX rocket and launch into a new era of commercial human spaceflight. I think uh, the most exciting thing about this mission for both Doug and I is, is bringing that capability and, and inspiring a, hopefully another generation of uh, engineers and scientists to, to challenge themselves and to try to do uh, great things like our nation does. When the shuttle retired in 2011, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. NASA's astronauts had only one way to get to space. And lift off. Hitching a ride on a Russian Soyuz rocket. The partnership is strong, but we don't want dependency. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. Some of this is American pride. Prestige. I like to use the word prestige. Um, great nations should be able to, to launch their own astronauts into space. So in 2014, NASA hired Boeing and Elon Musk's SpaceX to be their Uber and Lyft to the space station. For NASA, it's more cost effective and allows the agency to focus on the science of exploring deep space. SpaceX beat up Boeing in being first to fly. Its design has a back to the future feel and flashy new technology throughout. It's been described as a flying iPhone. Is that fair? I remember that comment. Yeah, the, it's a pretty big <laughs> iPhone. The, the, the <laughs> touch screen's in front of you, so I at least give it credit to be an iPad, maybe more than an iPad. <laughs> SpaceX has a track record. They've already flown 19 missions bringing cargo to the space station. But this time, for the first time, the reusable rocket's capsule will carry people. That was Mark Strassman reporting. The historic liftoff of the SpaceX capsule is set for late afternoon Wednesday from the Kennedy Space Center. We'll have live reports from there beginning Wednesday on CBS4 News at noon.